This week on Fetch Me a Home, we have Jess with Midcoast Humane. Hi. And Sunny. Tell us a little about Sunny. Sunny is virtually perfect. She's exactly medium. She can hang out with you. I have learned today that you can, in fact, very easily lift her into the car. Um, that might be her only flaw. She's not crazy about being in the car. I had to pick her up, pop her in the crate to come over here. Um, but other than that, she's got lovely manners. She walks beautifully on a leash. She has lived with other dogs before. We have introduced her to dogs at the shelter and she's had very good play groups. So we think she could do so successfully again. And on our way out of the building in the lobby was, I don't know, a kid about that, that age, six-ish, seven-ish. And she did really, really well with her. Aww. So I think she'd slot in almost anywhere. The, only kicker is my girl's got allergies. Yeah. And she has both food allergies and some seasonal allergies. So year round, she gets a specific diet and she can't have anything else because it breaks her skin out. So I'm actually using her kibble as treats right now. <laughs> um, and then seasonally, she just also needs some medication support for her allergies. Mm -hmm. So the food can get a little spendy, but yes. um, otherwise she's healthy. Everything's fine. overall health is totally fine. Other, other than allergies, which as somebody who suffers from seasonal and food allergies, I have a lot of empathy for, mm. um, and a lot of folks do. It just means we have to be a little bit careful. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sunny seems like she is a big snuggle bug too, from what I hear. She is. She's a little nervous right now. I think there's a lot of stuff going on. And as I said, she didn't love the car, but she let that little girl she met in the lobby who she didn't know from anyone else actually snuggle with her. But she had one home her whole life um, yeah. and then j was just recently surrendered. So this is all kind of a new world for her, it sounds like. And she's adapting pretty well. I'm very proud of her. She's doing pretty well because as you said a little while ago, it's hard when you've been in the same home your whole life and to suddenly be uprooted. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she'd been with them all five of her years and had had the same dog brother that Aww. whole time. So she's adapting beautifully and I think we'll do pretty well wherever she lands as long as people give her time to settle. Oh, good girl. Let's talk about some of the events you have coming up. Yeah. Kitten yoga and, and puppy, puppy yoga. yoga. Both this month. Yes, puppy yoga is on the 24th. So if puppies are your flavor, the 24th, <laughs> um, if you're more of a kitten kind of person, kitten yoga on the 14th. And then if you like all different kinds of fun things, we have sips and sweets coming up on October 4th which is almost exactly what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. um, it is wine paired with uh, desserts and some savory stuff this year. We have some cheeses and meats and whatnot. Um, so it'll be a all the way around experience. An idea there to raise money for some of the veterinary needs for some of the animals within your care. Yes, so gals like Sunny actually cost us money um, and providing their medical needs is expensive. Mm -hmm. You know, we have over 3,500 animals a year, so Sips and Sweets benefits our medical program so we can continue to help dogs like Sunny. Learn more about those dates and times on our website. We've shared links to all of them there, and you can also learn more about Sunny there. Jess with Midcoast Humane, thank you for bringing her in. Thank you for having us. We always appreciate you. Sunny, I hope you find a nice home soon. And your weekend morning report returns in a moment.